All right, so here we go. Today we're using our flat band. We're gonna place it underneath our feet. Give me a Pilates V, if you're able. And remember, a Pilates V is just one fist width between the feet, so don't be too wide. Walk your hands down that band. So we're already in this forward position. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed, but pull that navel in. Start to bring it up on an inhale, and then finish it with an exhale. Now let that shift your chest. Inhale. To exhale. Pull it back up. Inhale. To exhale. We'll do one more. Chin to chest first, then the shoulders. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, bring it back up. And exhale. I want you to take out one foot. You're going to mirror me. I'm gonna bend my opposite knee. Bring your arms up and hold here. <laughs> I'm having trouble balancing today. Goodness gracious. I want you to push that foot down and then bring it up. Push it down. Now I want you to feel opposition. As you're pushing your foot down, think of the spine growing taller. I exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up from the core. So my standing leg has got to be strong to be able to hold me there. Two more. Good. One more. Great. Push it all the way down and let the arms come down. Let's step the other foot in. That seems to go pretty well for most of us. So I'll bring that knee up. My palms are turned in. Lock your standing leg. Find that focal point. Let's inhale as we push it down. Nice and tall, open the chest. Neck in line with your spine. Shoulders down. Squeeze your butt, pressing down. Belly pulls in. Inhale down. Exhale up, two more. Doing very well. One more, inhaling. And exhaling. Take that off. Let's go to a wider position too. Take those arms out, slightly wider than your shoulders. I'm gonna bunch my ends up, you don't have to. All right, so I'm gonna bend those knees, if you're able. The other stand up, fine. Shoulders down, we're gonna expand that chest. Come back in. Inhale, exhale. Keep that band tight as you bring it back in front of you. If you need, it's still too hard if you need to, take those hands even further apart. But don't double up your band. Don't double it up. You'll never be able to pull it. Inhale. Exhale. Palms should be facing the floor. Take it down. Good. Now just one arm. I'm going to come down and lower those thighs. And then switch. Pull the back. Other arms stay still. I'm going to inhale as so I pull it back. Exhale. You can do this also without a band. And I pull through. Zip it up. Make sure you feel those inner thighs working. No twisting. It's almost like you're making the shape of an L with those arms. One more. Good. Walk it in. We're going to go toes, heels, working the muscles of our feet until we're back into our Pilates stance. We go back out. Now the arms will pull straight down into a chest expansion and then return. Inhale, look straight ahead. It's not just taking the arms down to the thighs. It's about continuing, pressing through those thighs, opening up your chest. Now take it back to parallel and go back to the first move. We'll pull it long. Good. And then we'll press it down. Excellent. Pull it back and forward. And take it down and out. Pull it back and out. Inhale. Exhale. One more each direction. Nice. Good, okay, so get all the way down to the mat. And we're gonna just take one 
foot behind the band. You pick which one you want to start with, just one foot behind. So again, I'm going to walk my hands pretty far down. I'm going to bend the elbows and come back from those elbows and bring this knee towards my chest. No slouching, no letting the shoulders creep up. It's the exact opposite. Shoulders back, proud chest. Push out for two. Bring it in for two. Inhale. Exhale. Out for two. In for two. Out. So a lot of things here are working. As I lengthen that leg out, I want you to squeeze your seat, the back of that leg. The belly is pressing in in opposition to our leg. Let's hold this one out there parallel to the floor. And I'm gonna lift it up for two, and lengthen for two. Up for two. Again, make sure the shoulders are connected to your back. The opposite leg is pressing down to the floor as I lift this leg up. Three more, take your time, same speed up. Same speed down. Two more. Up for two. Down for two. Good. I'll sit back up. I'll reach those arms long. So my opposite arm is going to twist away from that leg. I twist and I follow it. I inhale, grow taller. Exhale, lengthen. My palm is turned in. And my arm is staying real close to that rib cage. My hips don't go with me, and my feet don't turn. Good. Switch the feet. Hands are pretty close to that foot. I bend my elbows, bring the knee in, my elbows go to the mat. Make sure the legs are in line with your hips, shoulders down, chest open, and three, and two. We press out for two counts. Inhale, two exhale. Now you can always adjust the band, so if you made it too tight or too loose, adjust it as needed. Take your time. Feel that thigh reaching long out of that hip. Inhale. Exhale. Two bar. Lengthen. Scoop. Inhaling. Exhaling. Now press it out. We'll exhale straight up. Inhale, lengthen. Same speed up, same speed down. Now make sure we're not getting lazy now with those shoulders. Push that other leg down to the floor as you lift up. Two more. One more. Good, bring ourselves up. Let's take two feet in that band into a Pilates stance. Now your band is going to stay in place a lot better if your toes are inside it and the band's nice and flat. Do what you can with the band you have. All right, so we're going to come back with two elbows, two knees. We're going to be in a frog position. Now if you're tired of being on your elbows, you can lie all the way down. All right, so we're going to press out for two, in for two, out for two. Inhale, zip those inner thighs together. Scoop that belly in deeper. Try to get longer with each repetition. Don't forget the breath. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. Let's make this a little bit more challenging. Take those legs out. Start to come off your elbows. Reach those arms long. Yes. Let's lower down to our lower back. The band's gonna help support it. Bring it back up. Take it down. Bring it back up. Take it down. Now, I want you to bend the legs and the arms. We'll press just the legs. We'll come in. Now legs and arms will go down. Pull them back in, just the legs. Lower, legs and arms lengthen. Everything bends in, just the legs will lengthen. Bring it back in, arms and legs will lengthen. Bring it back in. Inhale, exhale. Lengthen. Nicely done. Take your feet to the floor. That wasn't so bad. 
All right, so again, how much resistance do you want, you pick. You want more resistance, more help coming up? Walk your hands closer to your feet. All right, so we're sitting up nice and tall. Shin to chest, navel in, round back. See if that lower back can touch again. And this time, I'm gonna round forward and drive my elbows back. As I start to straighten my arms, I'm gonna start to round back. Lower back touches, maybe. Round forward, eyes still to navel. Pull those elbows back. Start to lengthen as I'm coming back. Putting it up. Pull it back. Let's inhale as we're going back. Exhale, drive. Now, not only gonna drive this time, I'm gonna lengthen those arms behind me. Now they're gonna lengthen in front of me. As I'm coming up, my elbows will drive back and I'll straighten my arms behind me. Straight them in front of you, start to roll back, melt those shoulders. That's it. As you're coming up, bend your elbows in now, drive back. Retrace out in front of you, round back. Exhale. Bring it up, pull the elbows back, lengthen if you're able. One more, straight, melt those shoulders, tuck your tail. Exhale as you come up. Straight arms behind you and stack your spine up. Okay, connect those heels again, make sure there's room behind you, we're gonna lie all the way down. Zip your legs up. Elbows pull down. So the same thing, we're bending the knees like a frog and then zipping straight up. Bend the knees, inhale, exhale. Feel like those legs are trying to reach to the ceiling as the belly button is pressing down to the mat. Zip it up, exhale, inhale. Now, if you want, on the next one, you can add eyes to navel. Lift up, shoulder blades off, and I bring that head back down. I inhale. Exhale. Please remember that you never have to lift your head ever in Pilates. Exhale, I'm gonna keep it here. My arms will go straight. I'm gonna slide my hands down right above my hips. Try to, as best you can to have it not centered. I realized I was really off. Pinch your band, and we're gonna start to pop with our feet. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, you're moving your arms from your back. Exhale. You can always put your feet down. You can always have your head down. Inhale. Exhale, it's your fifth set. Here we go to six. We're going to 10. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale, scoop your belly deeper. Last one. And release. I'm gonna wrap that band around my hands and pull those knees towards me. I'll look to one side of the room and then look to the other. Nicely done. Take those legs back up. I want you to keep your right foot in, left foot comes out. Get a nice little hamstring stretch here. Take a nice breath in. Deep breath out. You can keep your left leg bent or you can lengthen it. If you can't get your leg over your hip, soften the leg and make sure the knee is in line with your hip. Turn that kneecap away from you and we're going to go towards that leg, down, over, and up. So I want you to trace the corners of a rectangle. And when I come back in from crossing over, I should be in line with my hip. In, 
inhale, exhale. Two more, move your leg from your core. One more, each corner of your rectangle. Now I'm gonna reverse it. I'm gonna go out, down, in, and up. To the right, down, to the left, and up. While you're doing this, your back stays heavy, pelvis stays still, and the belly is moving the leg. Over, down, in, and up. Two more, over, down, in, up. Last one. Hold here to soften my knee, press it up. Every time I press that leg up, the belly goes deeper. Two more. Now put both ends into that right hand. Pull the elbow down. Other arm is right next to your side. As this leg goes down, the other leg comes up. And I switch. Switch. Down. Left it. Up. And down. Two counts to come up with that band. Two counts to go down. Keep your pelvis still, keep the hips level, and keep your back heavy. That's a lot to think about. Let's do it. Let's do it. That band leg is reaching longer in that band, and the other leg feels like a band is behind it. Let's pick it up, eyes and navel. Seven. Six, you never have to pick up your pace. You can pick your own pace. Four, three, two, and one. Both legs up. Let's put the other foot in that band. One end in each hand. Make sure that you're not flexing at the neck. I'll pull those elbows down. I'll feel a hamstring stretching. You're more than welcome to keep the opposite leg bent, okay? All right, turn that kneecap away from you. Straighten that leg, and if you can't get it over the hip, bend the knee. So we're gonna trace a rectangle going to the right first. Right, down, left, up, down, over, up. One, down, over, and two, three, four. Right side, Left side. The opposite leg, if it's straight, is pushing down. Two more. Keep your hip very still as you cross over. Let's reverse it. Over, down, in, up, over. Don't go too far over. You don't want anything going with that leg. Inhale. Exhale, over, in, two more, over, in, last one, good, put both ends in your left hand, elbow down, we're going to scissor, the band leg goes down, the opposite leg comes up, left leg, inhale, exhale, reach long, pull that belly in strong, That's it. You got three more here, and then I'm gonna pick up my pace. You don't have to pick up your pace. Are you ready? If you want eyes to belly, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. If your head is up, eyes and navel, jump to the ceiling. Two more. Woo! And release, both feet in, elbows pull down, let's stretch both legs, keep your tail long, inhaling and exhaling on your own as you pull those legs a little closer towards you, and as you're pulling the legs towards you, feel like you're pushing those feet up against that band. Lovely stretch. Good. All right, soften your knees, let's rock ourselves up, take the feet to the mat, and check in with your body. 
All right, and take the band in front of our thighs. And reach those arms nice and long. So I'm pinching with my thumb and second finger. Knees are bent, and I'm pressing my arms straight. No matter what, they're gonna stay straight, okay? So if I take one knee towards that band, I keep my arms and wrists straight. Got it? Okay, lie down. Feet to the floor to start. And again, you're pinching the band, the fingers are long. It's against the thighs. We're gonna do a little tiny march. Bam! Now you're more than welcome to keep it just like this. You can keep your head down and your feet to the floor. You don't even have to use a band. All right, so my feet stay down. Next level, I'm gonna nod my chin to my chest. Fingertips are gonna reach longer. I'm gonna take both knees in, hold it here. Now my left leg is gonna release the band, and then I'll push it into the band. Push. So one leg is bending, other leg is straightening. One leg is pressing into the band, other one's going away from your band. Boom. Boom. I'm gonna pick up my feet. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Make sure nothing in that neck. Inhale. Exhale. Check your back out. Is it staying heavy? Maybe your legs need to go higher up and no band, maybe. Or the band can go behind the legs. We inhale. And exhale, last set, inhale, exhale, hug everything in, Woo. rock those knees side to side, if your neck is feeling a little cranky, stretch it, look to each side of the room, at any time you can do any of this stuff here for the stretches, good, okay, so I got that band, I'm going to take it slightly, my hands slightly wider than my shoulders, I don't like things hanging down by my face. I'm going to punch up that band. All right, so we're going to start with the band by the ankles. Legs together, knees drawing into the chest. If you want, eyes to navel. I'm going to reach everything away from my center. My arms and legs will both go out as wide as my mat. Come back in, and I start all over. I press out, lock everything in. Open. Close, bring it in. Pause, open, close. I'm trying to inhale all of this, exhale, but don't get caught holding your breath. Boom. Maybe you want the legs higher. Maybe you don't want to take the legs out. Maybe you want to just do the arms. Maybe you want your head down. So there's so many ways to do this. Two more. Hopefully you picked a way that works for you and is making you stronger. And hug it in. Woo! Check in with those shoulders. Check in with your neck. All right, we're going to take the feet in the band. I'm gonna try and do this laying down. I usually have to sit up to do this. All right, we made it. <laughs> Not yet. All right, so we're gonna try to get into the center of the band. Pull the elbows down. And again, make sure you're not laying here with your neck flexed like this. Think of, can you hold a fist between the chest and the chin? All right, so two legs. We're gonna take it down for three. Zip it up. Down. Two, three. Now this is with my head down. Your belly has to press in deeper so your back doesn't arch off your mat. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more to this. I'm gonna come up and lift up in that band. Maybe that's not for you. You can also do this with your head lifted. One, two. So you're really gonna scoop the lower belly muscles if you're lifting your seat up. Down. And it's gonna be harder than normal because you're resisting that band. You're welcome. One, 
two, three, one, two, three. If your neck is getting cranky, why is your head up? You can always put it down. Last one here. Two, three, bend your knees. Look to each side of the room. Let the knees go apart like a frog. And you can hold that neck stretch as long as you would like. Nice to see that. All right, let the band drop. Tug on those knees, pull them a little closer towards you. All right, legs together. If you're lifting your head, hands against the shins. Nod that shin to your chest, hands go behind the head. Just to let the neck have some support, open up your elbows. Turn towards your screen, and the opposite leg is gonna push away. Hold it there. Back to center. Switch, other side. Can you see if your shoulders, can you feel the shoulders from on the floor? Bring it back in. Twist, so I'm twisting up in the oblique, not down here, hold. Center, switch. Crunch it deeper. Four, three, bring it in. Three, two, one, center. Three, two, one. Your back should be heavy, you're twisting, you're rotating. Open up those elbows. Smile. These feel good. Woo. One more each side. And finish on the other side. Three, two, one. And release. I'm going to let my back arch. Elbows are wide. Now let your back just go to a neutral. I'm going to take both knees to one side. Keep those shoulders and elbows heavy. Bring them back up to center. Take your knees to the other side. Good. Now let the arms go out like a T and the palms are up. Now I want you to take your knees away from your screen. Away from the screen. And then I want you to take the arm that's behind you. So I'm looking at my legs. The arm that's behind you. It's going to come up, and you're going to completely lay on your side with your hands and arms stopped. Okay? Now your top arm is going to come up to the ceiling, and you're going to look at it. My hips stay still. Now let the arm go the rest of the way out. My hips stay still. Do a couple breaths here. Feel this stretch in your spine, across the chest, and across the shoulders. Now bring this arm back up and over. And now this time, I'll open up and take my back onto my mat with me. That should have felt good. So take your knees now towards the screen. And then you're going to look towards those knees, and the arm that's behind you is going to come over and on top. So everything is facing your screen, your knees, your chest, your eyeballs. Take your top arm up to the ceiling, look up at the ceiling. Now let the arm drop out and you're going to follow it, keeping everything else still. Do you find one side is tighter? You can't get the arm maybe as far. Take a couple breaths while you're here. Then we'll bring that arm back up and over. And then you'll come onto your back. Whee! Hug those knees in, break over. Rock yourself up and you grab onto your band. All right, did anybody feel that stretch like really going across the chest and shoulders? Like you'll feel like you're tight. If you're not real tight there, then it won't feel good. Yeah, it did feel good. Okay. So remember the stretches we do in here. You can do them when you're not here with me. So I'm going to take that band behind my feet. Try to have it as flat as you can. Try to have your feet completely in that band. And my legs aren't as wide as my mat. They're about as wide as my frame. And I want you to make an X with your band. I'm not centered. Hang tight. Nice little break here. Let me start over. <laughs> there, make an X. 
feet are flexed. If you're able, press the knees down. If you need to bend your knees to sit up taller, then bend your knees, ignore that heel. Pinching the thumb and second finger, take it out to the sides of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, C curve as you press back. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, and I'm just rounding over a barrel. My arms are locked, my shoulders are staying down. Inhale, tall, chin chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, now on the exhale, round back. Bring it all the way down. Arms are straight. Nod the chin to your chest. Flex those heels. Bring yourself up. And as you're coming up, the hands will go back to where you just came from before. Start to come up. Roll back. You're ironing out your spine. Nod the chin to your chest. Inhale. Press the arms back. Exhale. Inhale up, and tuck it around. Nod that chin, don't drag your head. Find that lower back, flex your feet, drive. Feel those hamstrings engaging. Step it up, round back. Take your time, iron out that spine. Keep those feet flexed, eyes to navel, and inhale. Exhale, draw it back, draw it back. Stack that spine and release. We survived that one? Okay, let's put the band behind our backs, the base of our armpits. All right, so you're more than halfway there. Oh, darn it. Now take your legs as wide as your mat. Elbows are bent, pinch that band, okay? Pinch that band. So we're gonna open, extend, elbows in, and return to parallel. So we're in parallel. No, we're not crisscross. Open, press out, in, parallel. Now sit taller, you're leaning back. I picked it up. Open, press, down, together. Can you sit even taller? Lighter on your butt cheeks. Open, reach. So when I open where my fingertips are pointing, that's where we're going. That's it. Open, press. Give me one more. Open, good. Now I want the palms to face down and you press these arms out like a T. Feel like the band's pushing you forward. Don't lean back into the band, okay? Now rotate towards your screen. Soft that baby toe. Look at your back hand. Bring it up. Come back to center. Inhale, away from the screen. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, exhale, center. Back to your screen. Inhale. Inhale, shoulders, keep them down. Bring it up, open, rotate. Notice I'm not moving my feet, I'm not moving my hips. Last one. Nicely done and soften those arms. I'm gonna sit cross-legged, you sit what works for you. The closer you walk your hands to your body, the more resistance on your band, the more the muscles work. If it's too hard, you slide away from your body. All right, so I'm pinching again. Thumb and second finger, palms face down. I'm gonna push out for two, and back for two. Exhale, sit even taller. As you push out, feel like your belly is pushing back towards the band. So pretend the band's going all the way down your back. It's a real thick band. As the 
arms go out, the navel is pushing in. We return back home just as controlled as the way out. Woo! Don't forget to breathe. Exhale, belly in. Can you sit taller out of that lower back? Lighter on your sit bones. You're sitting on thumbtacks. I want to sit even lighter. Press out. Two more. One more. And release. Okay, take the band in front of you. Come into a quadruped position for a second before we take it all the way down. Knees, hips, shoulders, wrists, on straight lines. We're gonna let the sit bones go up the wall behind you and then bring it back in. Take it up, bring it down. Four counts, slide up, inhale. Exhale, round your spine, squeeze into the back muscles, inhale. Exhale. One more. Now come back into a neutral spine. So the hand closest to your screen is going to grab onto the band at the edge of your mat. And we're going to try this little rotation. Now if that feels too tight, I'll slide out a little more. My band will get a little bit loose. I want you to rotate and bring it back down. So I want more loose, more slack. Inhale, exhale. One more, keep your shoulders connected to your back. All right, my other hand. So I can't start with it real tight. I'm gonna walk my hand further out. Alignment, here we go. Try to keep your hips still. Rotate through the, the thoracic spine. Rib cage portion of your spine. Can you give me one more? Now sit back in a child's pose. Flip my palms up and hold this stretch for a couple breaths. Inhale and exhale. You want to curl those fingers and knuckles towards your wrist and your palms up. Okay, come into a modified plank with the band underneath your hand. And I'm actually going to hold it with that thumb and finger grip on a lobster. All right, so in my modified plank, I'm going to row back with one arm and row back with the other arm. While I try to hold that plank still, you can use weights if you'd rather use weights or nothing at all. You can just hold that plank. You're more than welcome to go into a full plank, but you better watch your form, because I'll be watching. Pull back. So you're balancing on one hand. So I don't want to see you, you know, doing this stuff. Keep your hips, shoulders in that little square. My legs are a little bit wider than fist width. More stability for me. One more each arm. And we'll stretch back again. I'll release my band. My hands will go behind me. I'm going to make cups with my hands this time. You can rest your head on the mat if you like. Relax the shoulders. And let's go into a squat. So I'll come all the way down onto my front. I'm gonna slide my hands under my armpits. So your arms should not touch the mat at all. Where should your elbows be pointing? You guys know this. Your elbows are behind you, not out to the side, right? So make sure you have body awareness. My hands are under my armpits. My legs are one fist width apart. My navel is pulling in. I'm gonna lift up my chest, heads along for the ride as an inhale. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, slide those shoulders down. 
exhale. Inhale, lift, squeeze your seat. As I lift up, I'm going to take my one leg off the floor, put it back down. Other leg. You don't have to add the leg lift. And it's not real high. I squeeze my seat, I lift it. Now, no legs, I lift up. When I come down, I lift both legs up. Inhale. Exhale, lift the legs. Inhale, press through. Exhale. Squeeze your booty, melt those shoulders. One more. And stretch it back. Release that lower back. I'll once again take my hands behind me and make cups with my hands. Beautifully done. Okay, onto your seat. And reduce the shoulder bridges. Haven't done any bridges yet? You can choose to use your band or not use your band. I'll lie all the way down. Knees are bent. Heels under your knees, your legs are one fist width apart. I like to lift my hips, put them back down. I feel I'm in better alignment, but that's me. So if you're feeling kind of like you don't feel situated, try that. Lift up, come back down. All right, so I'm going to take my band up over my chest. And my arms are shoulder width apart. Shoulders are down. They're connected to my back. Wrists are going to stay straight. Pelvic curl. Lift that tail as it lifts up. The band meets the thighs. I push my thighs through the band. My shoulders push down, and I articulate with an exhalation back down. Pelvic tilt. Inhale. Chest opens. Everything in the back of your body squeezes. Exhale. Melt. Curl that tail. Lift up. Pull that navel in. Back of the head firmly press into that mat. And we exhale back down. Pay a little bit of attention this time to your feet. Make sure they're not going in or outside of the foot. One more. I want you to hold this one up. Here's my inhale. On the exhale, bring those arms straight up. Inhale, lower the band to your thighs. Exhale, bring the band back up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, stay. On the exhale, one leg drives through. Inhale, put it down. Other leg, exhale. Arms stay locked. We've seen this before today. Drive through the band. Drive that leg up. Four, three, two, and one. Can you lift those hips more to the band? Hold it here. Reach the arms behind you. Take a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, lower your body slowly bone by bone down to your mat and then hug your knees into your chest nicely done let's block ourselves up and we're going to go onto our side so you're going to mirror me your head's going to be on this side of your mat all right so we're going to start with some tricep work first so i'm going to lay my band down opposite mat side of my feet So I got a ton of band here in front of me, so I'm just gonna bunch it up so it's not gonna hang down. Here's how tight you want your band. You want your hand to be by your shoulder, and this to be like the guitar string, okay? Now if that's too much, too tight for you, then of course you'll make it looser, but we'll start there, okay? So my knees are to the top edge of my mat. I'm pushing off with my arm off my mat, okay? So all we're gonna do is looking down that elbow, we're gonna straighten this arm and bend it. Extend and bend. Now, if you want to add on, when your arm goes up, 
your hips will come up. Press and return. And the reason why I have you looking down is because the band gets really close to your face. And if you are at all leaning forward, you're going to hit yourself in the face with your band. So we're just going to keep the face out of the way. My elbow should point straight up to the ceiling. We exhale on the up. Remember, you don't have to lift your hips. But you do need to lock the shoulders to the rib cage. Three, two, and one. That wasn't so bad. All right, so now I'm gonna put both hands on that band once I peel it off my arm. And we're gonna lie all on our side and our legs will go straight. So this is gonna require a little bit of balance because look, I don't have my anchor that I usually do. So if this doesn't work for you, get rid of your band and take your hand here for balance. If you have a shoulder issue, you may not want to have the arm here with your band. So I'm lying completely on my side. I'm gonna cue that bottom rib cage. The bottom rib cage should be nice and light on that mat, okay? So here's the arm movement. It's gonna go in front of you, towards that thigh. Squeeze the lemons and the armpits. That's it. Pull. Now I'm gonna add lifting my leg up. It's gonna meet it, and then let it. My other arm has to stay solid to the floor. I'm hoping that we're having our arms straight up to the ceiling. So you're working that top oblique, outer thigh, hip, glute. Your bottom leg has a job too. It's pushing down as you lift up. Four. Three. And one, I'm going to stretch this arm over my head, and then I'm going to take my hand to the mat right in front of me, and I'm going to use my band right now. So I'm going to have my balance, I have this arm to my rib cage, I want you to lift your top leg up, the bottom leg will meet it, and then it comes back down. So it's up, inner thigh is working now. Up, inner thigh. Keep that belly engaged when you're in movement. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Check in how they feel. If they're feeling worked, you are crunching them up. Relax them. Now we're going to take the bottom leg up and down. I hold my top leg still. Three. The belly is important here. Suck it in. Zip it up when you're lifting that leg. Four. Three. Two. Hold it. Now the bottom leg goes forward, the top leg goes back. So they're parallel. My hips are still stacked, right? Belly's still pulling in. I got support here. Now we're gonna do the scissors front back. Seven. Six. Lock that shoulder down. Five. Good. Four. Three. Two. And one, meet at the top of your mat, keep them lifted, connect your heels, make sure you got hip over hip, I had a fixed me. And we're just gonna do these little tapping heels, heel beats. Relax the shoulder, keep that arm glued to your rib cage. Woo, can you feel this top hip and thigh? Seven, maybe not, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend it in, use your free hand to bring you up. I'll open up, I'll come onto my forearm and do a lovely side stretch. That was amazing. Other side. All right, so we start with those triceps. We love working triceps, don't you? That's one of the areas that women hold back. Darn it. <laughs> oh, we're almost through. Quickly. Last time I checked, we have like 25 minutes. Not that way anymore. All right. So we start.
start with the arm bent, knees the top edge of the mat, shoulder, elbow in a straight line. These are all important, so I make sure that we know to set up. I'm pushing this in, getting this connected. I look down at that bottom arm, my elbows up to the ceiling. Up. Lower. So play with it. I have a little bit of slack when I'm coming back down because I don't know if I can do more resistance. Maybe we'll try to have less slack. <clears throat> my bottom hand pushing down. My top arm is going up. Now if you want, you can add the these hips. Up and down. Up and down. Make sure your neck is in line with your spine. <clears throat> Even if I'm looking down, it can still be somewhat in line. I mean, don't do this, don't do this. Keep pulling in this bottom rib cage. Pull it, live with that oblique, with this back muscle here. You don't have to lift. Remember, you don't have to lift. You can use a dumbbell if you don't like the resistance of the band. Nice and light. Woo! Up. Down. Squeeze the armpit muscle as you're pulling. And actually, both sides are working. I'm stabilizing with my bottom one. That top shoulder is working to connect to the back. Back is firing. Woo! Two more. One's gonna squeeze. One more. I'll put that band down. I'm going to lift both legs up. Take that bottom leg down. Take the top leg down. So I'm going to lift up, together, down, and down. Now I just caught my top shoulder kind of creeping up. That's a no-no. So make sure that top shoulder is connected to your back. Do you feel crankiness, tiredness? That shoulder is not resting in spot. Up. Use your belly to lift that leg. Up. 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 Can you feel all this thing? Okay, okay. Now hold your top leg up. We're going to go up, down, that bottom leg. Bam. Belly. Glutes. Inner thighs. Relax that top shoulder. Relax it, relax it. I see it in the room. Now hold this up. Take your bottom leg forward. Take your top leg back. We have to think about that, right? Now let's do our scissors. Eight, seven, six, five. Reach those legs long. Four, three, two, one. Connect those heels into a Pilates stance toward the top edge of your mat. Relax that shoulder. I keep catching myself. We're going to do little heel beats. Are we ready? Go. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap
up. Loose feet, tight seat. Woo! You feel that now? Let me fix that. Four, three, two, one. Bend your knees. Come on up. Take your top leg behind. Put your kickstand down. And come on to that forearm. We do a lovely side stretch. Woo! Bring it back up. Okay. Grab onto your band. Just have a few minutes left. Come into a quadruped position. Band behind you. Now we're going to be doing planks. So if your shoulders and arms are tired, your back is tired, don't use the band. Okay? So if you're going to use the band, we're going to put it at the base of the armpit. Make sure your hair is not underneath that band. Again, you're going to choose how much resistance you're pushing that back up against. So I want your back level. Okay? Hands are under the shoulders. You can go to a modified plank by walking your knees back. I'm going to go to a full plank. Now I'm going to keep pressing up in that band. I'm not going to let that band push me down. Lock the shoulders to your back. Crown the head is long. I'm going to lift my right leg off the floor. My left heel will pulse twice and put it down. Other leg up. Pulse your heel. Put that leg down. Try to keep your tail tucked. So your butt's not going up in the air like this. That'd be wrong. Up, pulse, pulse, return. Up, pulse, back, return. Woo! Last one right here. Lower to your knees. Release that band. Woo, stretch back. Yes, I hear your wrists. I hear them. Give them a nice little stretch. Beautiful. Okay. Let's release that band. Face me. I'm not going to have you do more weight on your wrist. We're going to plop onto our side. Plop onto your side. You can either have your legs stacked and the arm up. But if you try to stack your legs and you're like this, I want you to take your top leg and open it up. You must start nice and tall, okay? Grab onto your back shin. We're going to inhale. Exhale. Onto your forearm. Keep your butt cheeks by your heels. Inhale. Exhale. Stay here on the exhale. Look towards that bottom hand and reach that arm out in front of you. Retrace that step. Face your screen. Bring it back up. We'll switch sides. Keep the legs glued together. Swing around. Stay in your powerhouse. Adjust your legs accordingly. Grab onto your back shin. Zip it up. We're going to inhale. Stretch it over. Exhale. Hold. Onto that forearm. You're going over a barrel. Over the barrel. Hold yourself over the barrel. Use as much as you need to with this hand to come back up. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulders down, right? Now hold here on the exhale. Look to your bottom hand and reach the arm out long. Breathe. Retrace back to front. Bring it up, release those arms. I want you to come with these legs into a cross-legged position again. I'm gonna slightly lean forward and push my knees down a little bit further. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Do you feel like you've worked hard today? Yes. Got one yes. yes. Everybody else is thinking about it. <laughs> I'm gonna walk my hands out. Just walk them out as far as you can go. Take the hands as wide as your frame. And take one hand and reach it on top of the other hand. And keep your shoulders, keep your hips, keep your back firmly planted down. And take that hand back over. And now the opposite hand goes on top of that one. Press your hips down. Bring the hands back. 
and walk the hands back up. I want you to clasp your hands to your lower back and slide your knuckles all the way down to your back. And as you did that, feel like your spine grew taller. Open up your chest. My knuckles are pushing down, so lift me up. And I want you to try to be like this when you're driving in your cars today. Keep nice and tall, keep against the seat, even your head, and release. You made it, woo, way to go.